Hi all, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. I hope that you all had a super boxing day and are excited because today we are back with day 11 from the World Starts Championships from the Ali Pali. And I can't wait. The only problem I've got, guys, is I'm doing this really late. It is now 12.29. The afternoon session starts at 12.30. And I'm sitting here doing this video. I've not edited it. And I've got all that to sort out. So I'm going to be missing a good hour of the darts. But I don't care because yesterday I had an amazing boxing day with the kids. And that's what it was all about. So in this video, guys, I've not got time to put in all the stats. However, as always, we've got to schedule my predictions um, and who they beat in the last round. So I hope you enjoy it. And please, please, please get involved as always and leave your comments below. And I'll get back to you. And we'll have some banter going back with some fours. So let's go, go through the matches. So uh, it's on Wednesday, December 27th. Like I say, it's now actually starting because the time is now. It has started. Um, and then the afternoon session has got three matches from round two. Um, we start off with Simon Whitlock against Darren Webster. Now, Simon Whitlock in his first game, he beat Shinder 3-1. Darren Webster beat Devon Peterson 3-2. This was a really tricky one for me to decide because I really like both players. Whitlock, I think, has gone off the boil a little bit. Darren Webster, great opportunity. He's going to fancy his chances in this one. And I actually fancy his chances too. I think that Darren Webster could well come through this one for free. We then go on to the next match of the afternoon, which is um, Chuck Norris against James Richardson. Both had good wins in the last round. Chuck Norris beat Kim, blah, blah, blah. blah. I can't say the same name as you guys know. He beat him 3-0. And James beat Kim Hybrix in, that, in, in an awesome display, 3-0. Now, a lot of you might be thinking because of his first, uh, or how good he was against Kim Hybrix, he's going to win that. I don't. I can't see James Richardson playing that level again and Chuck Norris letting him out. Unless Chuck Norris have a really bad day on his doubles like we know he do at times. I think Norris is going to have too much today and he will put James Richardson on the side and win 4-2. We then go in against Kevin Much against Tony Alcins. What a bloody match or what what a display from Kevin Munch in that last round. It was incredible. It was one set to nil down against Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Brought it back to 3-1. Was hitting, um, sorry, won it 3-1. Was hitting 180s for fun. Had to come through the prelim as well. I think he is on fire. Uh, Tony Alcins beat Ray's 3-1. Um, his averages weren't the best. I'm not saying he didn't do good because he's still come through and he's in round two. With Kevin Munch, after that last display, I think he'll win this one for two. So they are my predictions for this afternoon session. We then go into this evening session. Now in this evening session, again, we've got three games. However, one is um, the last of the round two and the next two are the start of the round three. So we're getting into the real meat and veg of the tournament now where it really gets spicy and I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's still the best of seven sets round three, but let's just cover the evening session. So it's on from 7pm this evening. The first game is Peter Wright, as you can see, against Jamie Lewis. Peter Wright beat Diego Portella 3-1 in the first one. Um, Lewis come through a prelim, then he went on to beat Clayton 3-0. Did I see that coming? I didn't. But we all know that Peter Wright is an awesome player. He's number, not, he's number two in the world for a reason. He's local to me. I'm a massive Peter Wright fan, as you know. And he will beat Jamie Lewis this evening 4-1. We then start round three, which is between the two Dutch men, Vincent van der Voort and Raymond van Barndel. Cannot wait for this one. So pleased to see Vincent doing really well again. Glad he listened to his wife and carried on in the sport. I'm sure she got a massive Christmas present um, from him as a thank you. So, yeah, I think that he beat, Vin he beat Steve Beaton 4-0 in the last round, while Raymond beat Carl Anderson 4-1. This is going to be a real nip-and-tuck game. However, I think with Barney's experience... He is going to have enough to bring him through this one. I'm not saying Vincent ain't got the experience, but I think Barney always seems to have this magic in the world. And we've also got that MVG Barney quarterfinal that's looming, that can always cause an upset. I don't know what it is about the world. But anyway, I'm going for Barney to win this one against Vincent Van Der for free. We then go into the final session of the evening, which is MVG against Gerwin Price. What a bloody display from MVG in the last 12 legs to nil against James Wilson, the lethal biscuit. 
Of all people, he beat the Lethal Biscuit. 12, so I'm just laughing. That nickname's still getting me, the Lethal Biscuit. 12-0. Uh, I think the Lethal Biscuit only had a couple of shots at um, a ball and one other. About three shots at uh, doubling the whole match. 12 straight legs. Awesome display. His, beat, his plan against Gerwin Price, who beat him White 4-1. Gerwin Price has upped his game. He's a lot better darts player than what he is. There's a lot of speak about him being in the Premier League. But he's not going to have enough this evening. I'm going to give him a set. MVG will win this one for one. So they are my predictions for the evening section. E evening session. Um, so as always, guys, please do leave your comments. We'll go backwards and forwards. Have a laugh as we always do. It's great to chat to lots of you. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, today as much as what I do. Um, and pretty much that's it. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video for day 12 of the World Starts Championship. Don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. Um, and that's it, guys. Bye. Bye.